the latest of the Late Late Shows. Thanks for staying up for us. Let's have a look and see who's on the show tonight. He is an Emmy, Golden Globe and Tony Award winning actor you know and love from No Time to Die, Westworld and so much more. The illustrious, the supreme, Jeffrey Wright is here tonight. <laughs> and he is a brilliant filmmaker. You love his movies from Baby Driver, Shaun of the Dead, the brilliant Sparks Brothers documentary. I watched his movie last night in Soho. Last night. It's so good. It's so good. It's like, if you like... Here's what I'd say to anybody. If you like films <laughs> that are brilliantly told with excellent performances, great characters and good stories, you'll enjoy that film. And if you don't... <laughs> if you don't like those things, then you've no business here. <laughs> it opens in theatres this Friday. It's so good. We love them at this show. The ever-charming Edgar Wright is here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and later, we've got a performance from Glass Animals. You don't want to miss that. Reggie's still in Montana, taking care of his mum. We're so happy to hear she's doing better. We send them all of our love. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Wright, Edgar Wright, two rights on the show. Yeah. Two rights. And in honour of that, um, in honour of the Wright brothers, Ian Wright, later on, you're going to fly a plane off the roof. That's what I've heard. Is that right? Seemed, seemed as good a day as any to take to the skies. So, yeah. Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. And he's going to do it. It's not just you. You're going to be in the plane with the Righteous Brothers. It's going to be me, yeah. Pete just gave me that. Just fed yeah. me that one. He's just been fed waiting... me that off mic. He's been waiting 800 shows for us to mention the Righteous Brothers, and it finally it's, happened. It's done. You know what I'd love to do with Pete? I'd love to recreate the scene in Ghost. I just want the two of us just to get in there and just make, make some beautiful, like, a clay vase together and just, I, and just do that. I'm happy to be the pottery. I just want to be involved. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK. That's... Now it's taking a turn, because... I know, I know we said last night on the show that we were going to try and, you know, as a show, collectively be more horny. <laughs> But I, I worry that that may have, that may have gone over, that may have tipped us over. <laughs> hey, talking of getting horny, uh, <laughs> we we spoke last night about Nate's other business. Viewers who didn't tune in last night, firstly, how dare you? Secondly, <laughs> thanks, welcome. Um, <laughs> Nate, do you want to explain that we talked? Nate's had a business. How long have you been running this side hustle? Uh, about five years. Five years, Nate has had a business which is called hornytees.biz. Yep. <laughs> which is basically, you can, you, it's a t shirt company, but it's not just t shirts, there's mugs, there's all manner of trinkets. Bumper stickers, baby onesies, whatever you need. Whatever you, <laughs> whatever you need, and they will all be met with a slogan, a, a, a traditional slogan that, that people would know, something that, a catchphrase that people would say, yep. where you will remove one word and replace it with the word horny. Yes. So, like, last night, you used the example of the sixth sense, I see dead people, I see horny people. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. And, but I've heard, there's been, it's been, the, the place has been a buzz, the yeah. hornytees.biz has just gone through the roof. Yeah. Since we mentioned it on the show last night. Thanks What's to happened? Thanks a huge mention on the show. Uh, the show has an incredible reach. Yeah. Um, I made three sales... Uh, in the last three, <laughs> twenty-four hours. Three T-shirts. T-shirts. Uh, we one person bought a T-shirt that said uh, "Life sucks, then you're horny." <laughs> um, another person bought a T-shirt that said "Don't hate me because I'm horny," uh, and they also bought a bumper sticker that said "My other car is horny." <laughs> Uh, and then one person bought three uh, I See Horny People t-shirts. Stop! So, yeah. This is huge. So, um, this is my last day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm right in thinking this must be a 300... 3,000% uplift in sales on, on the previous month? Uh, this year, I sold, um... Two things. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so this is a pretty big uh, double. More than doubled my profits. 
I mean, if you went into the shark tank now mm -hmm. and you flowered that up and you said, we, our, uh, our profits are up 4,000% <laughs> month by month on month, yeah. I think somebody invests. Oh, there'd be a I feeding do. frenzy, no, no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, without question. It'd be like Shark Week in there. It'd be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, what's wrong? I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say that um, a couple of years ago, Nate pitched an idea involving hornytees.biz to be on the show. And we brought it all the way up to CBS Legal. And the decision was that in order to do the bit, CBS had to take control of the website. And Nate said, no, we're not doing the bit. I'm not giving up this business. OK, so yeah, they said, if we want to do anything like a, the bit on the show, uh, the bit was, I think, me and you were going to like take it to the sharks or something like that. That was and, the bit. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Me and, and you were going to go and pitch hornytees.biz <laughs> in the shark tank. And then yes, C I remember. CBS. C the CBS lawyers said that if we're going to do that, I have to, I have to relinquish all rights to hornytees.biz. And, and also, they, and, I, and I said, well, how much are you offering me for? And they said, nothing. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I was like, I was like well, absolutely not. Like, this, you know, this could really be like my bread and butter, this company. And, yeah. then they said, and then they said, well, legally, you don't own any of those phrases, so we could start hornytees.net and just make the same thing. No, they you didn't can, say they that. No, me. They stop. threatened me. Stop. And I... And I put my foot down and I said, then the bit's not happening. <laughs> and I walked out of there. Absolutely. <laughs> and now look, and now look, they, and now look, they own, they own nothing <laughs> of a business whose profits are up 3,000%. I made, I made $16.50 last night. And they don't get any of it. They get nothing. What's Nick doing? Nick just got his phone out. I, in the middle of this, Nick Bernstein just pulled out his cell phone. What happened there, Nick? Why was the phone coming out? It's coming out because I was pretty positive I was getting an email from CBS. Stop. While this was happening. And what does it say? <laughs> it says, this isn't going in the show, right? <laughs> Send such an email to you. <laughs> Who's that from? Yeah, this really can't go in the show. Uh, it, it, Nick, I'm telling you right now, brother, this is 100% in the show. <laughs> Without question, it's in the show. Yeah, uh, what does Ben think about this? Stick it to the man, or are we just going to fold? Stick it to the man. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I get the feeling that Nick is genuinely a sort of like feels like he this might be the one. <laughs> this this could be where this all comes crumbling down, yeah. But Let's 50, go. 50 people in here who are already privy to the information, who I imagine. Yeah. I've got social media accounts who could uh... You're on a crest of a wave, buddy. <laughs> Arguably you're the most popular guy on the show right now. <laughs> I don't think you need to uh, put yourself on the wrong side of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look. Yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. Hagar, yes, Hagar. I have a confession to make. You're one of the people who bought the stuff. I was thinking last night, I want to get a head start on gifts for the band for Christmas. <laughs> so the three I see horny people shirts. <laughs> That's you! No way! <laughs> oh my god! Yes, that's why I get a question. That's hilarious! That's why I get a text from you. Hagar me. emailed all of us, like, what's your t shirt size? No! <laughs> Seriously. So actually, the reach of this show is that you reach two people. <laughs> okay. Well, look. America is not only horny, it is starved of the very thing. It's been missing all day. They don't know what's been going on. They don't know. Because they know. CNN, MSNBC, Fox, all of them are skewed to their own conglomerate corporation. Right here, it's the only place where America gets the news. <laughs> 
news today is that Joe Biden is about to make his second overseas trip as president. He leaves tomorrow for a week of meetings in Europe, including the G20 summit in Rome. Biden will be focused on discussing the international economy and making sure that he's in the bathroom whenever Afghanistan comes up. <laughs> I don't know what the G20 is, but what I do know is that any time there's something that's just a letter and then a number, you know that it's important. Don't you? You know that. G20, G6, Ford F-150. All important. <laughs> After those meetings, the president then flies to Glasgow for a United Nations climate meeting, which honestly feels like one where they should probably do it over Zoom. Doesn't it? <laughs> like, everyone's meetings this year have been virtual, but no. What's that? A, a, a climate change meeting? Yeah, fire up the gigantic jet. Let's go. <laughs> Make sure there's 23 SUVs to meet me there when I land at the airport. <laughs> and because the President and First Lady are going to be out of town, the White House have announced today that they are cancelling the annual White House Halloween celebration. That's right. The Democrats' war on Christmas has expanded to Halloween. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here's a big disappointment for everyone. I know a lot of people were excited to go as a slutty Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of it's just a tortoise wearing a bra. Um... <laughs> Moving on, did everybody see this? A Japanese company that makes drones has just created a new hover bike that can fly for 40 minutes. Here it is in action. The company held a demonstration on a racetrack in Tokyo, and this thing has some moves. Look at that. Looks like a jet ski having a midlife crisis. <laughs> if you ever happen to see me on one of those, you only need to know two things. One, I've become best friends with Tom Cruise, and two, my <laughs> wife has left me. <laughs> Would you ride one of those? Would you do it? Hell yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can you still go on the road in it, though? Uh, that's my issue. Can it only fly, or can you ride it as a bike and then be like, ah, oh, this traffic looks a bit... Because <laughs> like, that's all I want. I want to I take it through a drive through and see if that works. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, sir, you can't walk through. It's 2 a.m. And I'll be, like, I'll be right back. And Not a like, problem. <laughs> I'd be all over that. Yeah. You, I would use it, like, in moments where it's, it's quicker to walk or drive. I, I would be like Justin Bieber on that funky duck thing. Just that like... Hoverboard. I would take it from the office to the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. That was the lowest point of my hosting of this show. Yeah. Have we talked about this? We talked about it? Oh, don't do that. No, we haven't. Let's explore it. We haven't heard it. Be nice to hear it. This particular audience has not heard. Yeah, these guys don't know. Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? You, you three, you three, you may, you three may be the new owners of T-shirts that say, I see horny people. <laughs> you know what I see? I see fired people. <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this. A photo of a spider in Australia has gone viral because the spider looks like Elton John wearing glasses and a toupee. If you don't believe me, it's a fact, because here it is. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. It's so cute, isn't it? That is the cutest spider I've ever seen. I'd still kill it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If it was in my kitchen in the middle of the night, I am shoe off, bang, but... <laughs> But this isn't the only animal in Australia that looks like a popular musical act. Take a look at these kangaroos. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody.